What's up YouTube, Matthew here once again with another video and today we'll talk about is dropshipping dead? Can you compete against Amazon.com and eBay with your e-commerce store? In today's video, we'll discuss that. Now be sure you all um, to be sure to subscribe and like this video and comment down below. Um, and for our next videos, we're going to talk about uh, testing. You always hear like these gurus talk about test, 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 but what does that entail? And and research, research, but what does that entail? And so in my next couple of videos, I'm going to discuss um, those methods. And be sure you all um, turn on that notification bell um, to stay in tune for those videos. Now, is dropshipping dead? And can you compete with your small e-commerce store? And the answer is yes, of course you can. There are still people making millions of dollars from the basic AliExpress dropshipping model. Now, how can you compete against these um, e-commerce giant stores like Amazon, Walmart.com, eBay.com, AliExpress.com? And I'm here to tell you all that um, back in the day, like for example, Walmart, the retail stores, Walmart would come into town close all the mom and shop stores down and Walmart would just be the only store in that town now and just destroy all the other small ones. The internet is different, right? You have Amazon and eBay and they're growing the revenue year by year because more and more people are buying online. More and more people are using their phone to buy online and Amazon is growing. However, we don't see this trend where you have these small e-commerce stores dying. These small e-commerce stores are actually growing even more when amazon grows they grow more and i think it's because of the internet because we can be uh it's just so diverse and like people just like mom and pop stores they like those uh small e-commerce stores that are more in tune with them have more catered products you know like print on demand um stores like that and so that's one reason why i think dropshipping is not dead because it's the internet, you know, e-commerce is growing. You see the stats. Now, the t number two reason is, you know, e-commerce is probably like a trillion dollar company. I mean, <laughs> industry. We don't know how much um, it's worth exactly, or, you know, how big it was. I think it was in the billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. I don't think it's at a trillion yet. But what, let's say it's a trillion. What stops you from getting one million of that? Can you honestly see yourself getting one million? That's probably what point zero zero one percent of a trillion dollars. You can get one million of that, and just looking at that, like how big it is. And yes, there's Amazon. Yes, there's this and that. But you can get a piece of the pie, even if it's half a million, a hundred thousand of that. What stops you from getting that amount? Now. Um, as I stated before, people are still winning with this Shopify game, and you can too. You just have to be consistent with um, doing your work, testing, 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 researching, researching, and have a schedule. Like, if it's like, okay, I go to school from 8 to 5, okay, from 6 to 8 p.m., I'm going to just watch YouTube videos on how to run Facebook ads and just keep on learning, keep on watching those videos. And that's how I learned. Um, and so, yeah, e-commerce is not dead. Um, people now are looking for more higher quality products. And there's there's different print-on-demand products, like for jewelry and whatnot. They're actually really good quality that people actually like. Like, there's some jewelry items that, um, I don't know if you guys heard of Shine On Jewelry. That's a good one where what you pay, like, I think it's like under 10 bucks cost of goods. And you can sell them easily for $35, $40. And people will buy them because they're good, high quality stainless steel products and people will buy them. Now, if you all have any questions, please comment down below. Be sure to subscribe for those next videos about testing and research. Um, all right, Matthew out.